Hold on to your seats because a supercomputer just told us when humanity will kick the bucket. Picture this, a group of brilliant scientists huddled around a supercomputer, feeding it data on factors like solar radiation and landmass configurations, all to predict the fate of our planet. The supercomputer whirs, crunches the numbers and spits out a prediction. In about 250 million years, Earth's tectonic plates will converge to form a new supercontinent. This shift will result in extreme CO2 levels and skyrocketing temperatures, conditions that will make the Earth a no-go zone for mammals, including us humans. We're talking about a climate so hostile, it could trigger a mass extinction event. It's like a high-stakes game of global chess, and the supercomputer has just revealed a checkmate against us. So in 250 million years, we might be saying, adios, but don't cancel your Netflix subscription just yet. Now you might be wondering, how does a supercomputer make this kind of prediction? Well, it's not as if it's peering into a digital crystal ball. The process is actually grounded in science, data, and a lot of computational power. You see, when these researchers set out to predict the future of our planet, they didn't just ask the supercomputer to take a wild guess. Instead, they fed it with a variety of data related to factors that impact planetary habitability. Two of the key factors considered were solar radiation, and landmass configurations. Solar radiation, as you might already know, plays a significant role in maintaining Earth's temperature. It's like the Earth's central heating system. Changes in the levels of solar radiation reaching our planet can cause significant shifts in our climate, potentially leading to conditions that are inhospitable for life as we know it. Landmass configurations, on the other hand, affect how solar radiation is absorbed and reflected back into space. They also influence the circulation of heat around the planet through ocean currents. The researchers hypothesized that in about 250 million years, Earth's tectonic plates will converge to form a new supercontinent. This drastic change in landmass configuration could lead to extreme CO2 levels and temperatures. By processing this complex data, the supercomputer was able to simulate various scenarios and predict what might happen in the distant future. It's a bit like playing a game of chess, where the supercomputer can see hundreds of moves ahead and calculate the consequences of each potential move. So, it's not the supercomputer's guesswork, it's a calculation. But before you panic, remember this is 250 million years away, so you've still got time to finish that novel you've been writing. Let's dive into the scary part of this prediction, the climate tipping point. You might be wondering, what exactly is a climate tipping point? Well, it's the point of no return. It's when our climate changes so drastically that there's no going back, leading to a potential mass extinction event. Now let's talk about the culprits, high levels of carbon dioxide and extreme temperatures. Picture this, Earth's tectonic plates converge to form a supercontinent. This new formation leads to an outpouring of CO2, creating an atmosphere thick with this heat-trapping gas. Meanwhile, temperatures soar, turning our blue planet into a sauna. You might be thinking, but we've survived high temperatures before, right? Well, yes and no. Sure, life has survived periods of extreme heat in the past, but the key word here is survived. Many species didn't make it through these hot spells, they simply couldn't adapt fast enough to the changing conditions leading to mass extinction events. So what happens when CO2 levels and temperatures reach these extremes? It's not a pretty picture. The high CO2 levels create a greenhouse effect, trapping heat and leading to skyrocketing temperatures. These conditions make it nearly impossible for most mammalian life, including us humans, to survive. And if that wasn't scary enough, once we hit this climate tipping point, there's no reversing it. The changes become self-perpetuating, creating a feedback loop that only exacerbates the situation. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, growing larger and faster with each passing moment. So if you thought global warming was bad, this is like global warming on steroids, but again, don't start building your spaceship just yet. Okay, so we're doomed. But what does this mean for us now, you might be wondering? Well, let's break it down. This research, as daunting as it sounds, gives us a unique perspective on our planet's future. It's like a time machine, providing a glimpse into the Earth's fate millions of years from now. By knowing the potential endgame, 
we can better appreciate the intricate balance of our planet systems and how they contribute to sustaining life as we know it. But here's the kicker. It's not all doom and gloom. This knowledge offers us a chance, a chance to study, understand and hopefully mitigate the impact of such drastic changes. While we may not be able to change the course of tectonic plates or control the sun's radiation, we can certainly influence how we treat our planet here and now. Think of it this way, we've been given a heads up, a warning. This warning allows us to reassess our actions and their impacts on our planet. It's a call to arms. A wake-up call for us to focus on preserving what we have while we still have it. We can't stop the tectonic plates, but we can stop the destruction of our forests. We can't control solar radiation, but we can control our carbon emissions. This research underscores the importance of sustainability, of transitioning to renewable energy sources, of reducing our carbon footprint. It highlights the urgency of climate action. It's a stark reminder that our actions today have far-reaching consequences, not only for us, but for future generations. So what does this mean for us now? It means that we have a responsibility. A responsibility to understand our planet, to respect it and to protect it. So we might not be able to stop the inevitable, but we can certainly make the best of what we have. And that starts with taking care of our planet. Well, that was a roller coaster of emotions, wasn't it? We've taken a deep dive into the heart of our planet's future, journeyed through the crystal ball of a supercomputer and stared into the face of a climatic tipping point that could spell the end for mammals, including us humans. We've learned that in a quarter of a billion years, the Earth's tectonic plates will converge, forming a new supercontinent. This shift will cause extreme levels of carbon dioxide and scorching temperatures, conditions not fit for mammalian life. This chilling prediction comes from the tireless work of dedicated scientists and the unparalleled power of a supercomputer, capable of processing complex factors like solar radiation and landmass configurations. But why is this important? It's crucial to understand the fragility of our existence on this planet. While 250 million years may seem like an eternity, it's but a blip in the universe's grand scheme. And understanding these potential future scenarios underscores the role we play in preserving our planet today. Each action we take, each decision we make, has the potential to ripple through the centuries, shaping the world for generations to come. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? We are but temporary custodians of this blue marble we call home, and it's our responsibility to ensure its longevity for those who'll inherit it from us. So that's it. We've got 250 million years to figure this out. In the meantime, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing discoveries. Remember, the universe is full of mysteries and we're here to uncover them together.